G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thank you for being here with me today. We're going to have a bit of fun. Yes, we are. We always have fun though. All right, so I'm using my Cascade Mold, uh, the Live Edge Mold, the Coaster one. And I used some of this Pearl X Gold and I just dusted a little bit into my little tips there. I didn't go all the way to the top, just, just sort of probably halfway. I did that. All right, so that's the first thing. Um, I am using the Pro Marine Tabletop Resin today. It's really thick. That's just part A. It's a one-to-one, -one, really thick. Um, it does have a very strong odor. If if you, you know, don't like smelly resins, <laughs> definitely steer away from that one. But I've had it for a long time and I need to use it up, so... Um, I thought it would be perfect for the daisy flower today because it is so thick. I am using my Bloom White Pigment Paste. I've got some in here. And it's a medium, I'd say that's a medium opacity. Not totally opaque, but certainly more opaque than I would use for my 3D Blooms. Now I'm using the Octopus Resin Inks. This one is Smurf. I'm going to do three colours today. Similar to what I would do in my fairy flower. Do you remember my fairy flowers ages ago when, um, you know, I do like a dirty pour? I'm just going to do try two. Um, and then I've got Sweet Cherry. Uh, this is pretty strong. I think I'm going to just start with one. I can always add more. And then the lemon. So the lemon is the least strong. And I'm going to go three. Hey, that's one, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. But look, it depends on which inks you're using, um, how much resin you've got in your cups. It's uh, you know, it's, it'll all it's all different. You can't just say, oh, Julie did three drops, so I'm going to do three drops. <laughs> it just it depends on how much resin you've got. Like I've I've split my amount of resin between three cups here. What's that? Something floating around in there? No, it's just a bubble. Uh, because the resin is so thick, you do get lots of Lots of bubbles. Okay, that's the yellow. So obviously we're going to get, I think that'll be strong enough. Just want like pastel colours. Um, pink and blue, or red and blue are going to make purple. Um, red and yellow are going to make orange. And then blue and yellow are going to make green. So we should get, we should get hopefully some pretty pastel colours. All right, these look nice. These aren't too dark. Let me write down what I did. All right, so I did three, one, and two. All right, um, and then in my, my push, I'm just going to add one drop. <laughs> I've got into the habit of opening them away from my resin and away from my moulds because they get little dry, crusty bits on the edges there. And it always falls in. All right, just one little drop into the push. Now the other time I used, it's getting warm already, it's a top coating resin, so it's a really thick resin. Probably doesn't like to be poured very deep. Actually, I might just pop it up on this just to stop it from flash curing, just to get a bit of airflow under there. All right, let's get started, shall we? Um, some of the blue. And the pink, a bit of the yellow, look at that, it looks pretty. I have found that if you're going to do a dirty pour, they, you really do need to keep your colours a little bit more transparent, otherwise they look really quite blocky, you can see, oh there's the pink and there's the blue, whereas if you make them a little bit more transparent, um, it kind of keeps them more, I don't know, they just, they just look more blended. Let's see if I can pull that in. Actually, I might just do a little bit of the, the blue. I mean, you could just pour them in rings like this if you wanted to. I, I want to see what they look like with the dirty pour, similar to what you do in acrylic pour. You know, when you layer your cups for a ring pour. <laughs> Oh, the good old days. The old acrylic pouring. All right. Um, and then the pink. 
can't push it down the side because I need my stick so it's just kind of sitting on top but because it is so thick the resin it is kind of sitting on top it's not you know dropping straight through to the bottom um, hopefully and making mud okay and the yellow Use it all up. Actually, I might save just a tiny bit. I am pouring yellow in at the end anyway, but no, oh yeah, I might as well use it all up. I kind of feel as if I have to hurry because the resin is already so thick. I don't want it to flash cure. All right, so it's that one done. Now I've got a tiny bit of resin in there for my my gold little stones. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to. I'm going to try like a, a bit of a ring pour here. Oh, look at that. It certainly is staying separated, isn't it? Gosh. Wow. <laughs> I told you it wouldn't blend because it's so thick. It's really pretty. I'll just pour the rest in the middle there. Wow, that is so pretty. It would be nice if it stayed like that would be okay that's that done so pretty all right now the next thing I need to do is add the white and I'm just going to push that in there spread that out so what we want the white to do we want it to drop down and make petals. If your resin's too thin, the white drops straight down and makes blobs. Uh, we don't want blobs. We don't. I've got a couple of little bubbles there that I just want to pop. We don't want blobs. All right. I'm just going to close that bit of white. I don't want any weird patterns on the other side. All right, now. The other thing I'm going to do is, that I have been doing recently, if you've been following me, I've been <laughs> trying to add my push a little bit slower. So here we go. I'm going to add it a little bit slower and more sort of gently this time, trying to not have such a small like little point where the resin's going in. I'm trying to make it sort of more... A bigger surface area that my resin's hitting the other area so hopefully it's not going to like, drop down with such a force that's I don't know that's my plan anyway because you know when you've got a puddle of water <laughs> or resin um, and then you put you know a hard push straight down from the top um, and it makes that little point in one particular area so it's going to be quite a deep little point there whereas if you try and spread it like this I'm um, hoping it will oh, I can still see hoping it will sort of make a, a bigger surface area all right now the resin um, I did 115 grams of part A 105 grams of part B so I've got 220 grams now this mold takes about 220 you could probably get another 10 in up to the top um, I've seen some people use it and they don't fill it up all the way, I don't know why, but you can fill it up all the way, which takes 230 grams. Um, so, I've got 220 there, about, oh no, I've got, I didn't actually put full 220 in. Now, um, you can probably see there's an area about that size in the middle there that's not, hasn't got anything in it. So, I'm assuming that that is going to stay like that. Um, look, I've tried getting a syringe and sucking it out. All it does is suck the, the top out. I think where the white has hit the, the mould, it's just kind of stayed like that. And look, it's just it's just like that, I think. <laughs> I think it is. Um, I'm not sure if I want to add that or not yet. I might see what happens. I'm going to put a little bit of my little gold stones in here. It's basically looking very yellow and very green at the moment. That's all I see, yellow and green. Uh, hopefully I've got some colours on the other side. All right, so that's my stone. It's made into a little paste there, just so that when I put it in later it doesn't sort of fall off the stick and go everywhere. 
Okay, so that's basically all I'm going to do for the moment. Um, I might give it just a quick little, very light little torch, but I don't want to. I don't want to heat the resin and make it thin so that the white drops down. The whole idea of using a thick resin to keep the the white suspended, so I don't really want to drop it all down by making the resin hot and thin. Um, hmm, I'm a bit concerned about that hole in the centre. I think what I'll do. I think what I'll do is I'll give it about 15 minutes. I'll put you on a time lapse. Give you 15 minutes. Um, and then I'll come back and I may suck a little bit out of the middle with my syringe. The only issue with sucking it is that when you suck, the petals that are maybe small are then going to get elongated because they've been pulled into the middle. So that's the only issue. So you either have long petals and no centre blob, um, or you have pretty little petals and maybe a, a bigger centre. So it's kind of a toss-up. Anyway, I'll come back, see what it looks like in 15 minutes or so. Enjoy the time-lapse. Right, it has cured. Oh, look, it matches my nails. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I just noticed that. Um, now, I did add to my little gold stones because I thought I just wanted something a little bit more colourful in there. I've got this sort of chopped up cellophane that I made ages ago, and I thought I'll mix some of that in with the gold. So I did that. I um, don't know whether you noticed, but I put that in, like, during the, um, the time lapse. And... It's looking pretty cool. Got this white tip around the edges there. They've all got white on them. Um, and like, it looks very spiky. Hopefully you can see what I mean by, by spiky rather than puffy and billowy. Although here, there's a few areas that do look kind of puffy along the edges, but in the center, it does certainly look spiky. <laughs> uh, if, that's, if, if we can call it spiky. All right, let's have a look. And uh, we've got the little gold tips as well from that I dusted in there. It's come off nice and cleanly. I will leave link the cascade mold for you down in the description if you'd like it. All right, I can I can see my glitter in the middle. That looks as if it's kind of stayed in the centre. So that looks promising. But I have no idea about the rest. <laughs> Let's find out together. Here we go. Oh, you guys, it's really pretty. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. And I know it didn't close all the way, but look, that's okay. I'm happy with that. At least it's symmetrical. So we've got pretty much like a greeny blue kind of a teal, I guess, turquoise around the outside there. And just very, very slight hint of gold over the tips because I didn't put very much on. And then we've got the yellow in the middle, which I like. I wanted the yellow in the middle. Loving that combination of gold with the cellophane because it just picks up the little hints of pink and blue and purple and that. So not a very dark, you know, um, shade of colours there. It's just quite pastel, which is perfect what I wanted. I mean, I would have liked the petals to come in a little bit more, but if you can see, but you kind of got on the back there, you've got like a, a lacing. I don't know whether or not you can actually see it. It's kind of like a lacing there underneath. So there is actually something in there. It's not just empty. That is so cool. <gasps> Let's go and have a look at it. Take it down. Have a little look. Oops can pick it up <laughs> stuck to the bench all right there we go now I want to see if I can show you oh can you see can you see the center look at that it's got like it's down the bottom the whites sunk down the bottom so we're getting that kind of lacing look so it's not just an empty void there that's so cool oh, I think this is my favorite yet you guys I don't know I haven't got a lot of petals, but 
I think it's just pretty because the shape of the mould and the little gold tips and then, you know, the, the bigger petals coming down to smaller petals. I just think it's really pretty. What do you think? Do you think it's pretty? All right, let's walk around here. Oops. I'm trying to get it without those glary lights on it. Mm, yep, not working all that well. Oh, gosh. I'll just walk around the room a little bit and show you in different lights. So the green, I guess, really took over. Not that I used green, but the blue and the yellow certainly mixed um, and made a green. Look at that in there. Look at that where my thumb is. Look at that. Definitely a turquoise in there, isn't it? I guess next time I could put a little bit more pink in. Didn't do many drops of pink. So we've only got a hint of little pinky, purpley tone there. But that's okay. I, I'm really happy with it. Let's see if we could see that inside there. There it is. Pretty little petals. So happy with that? My bloom paste? Happy with my bloom paste? Worked really well with that. So yay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching. Um, happy with that resin as well. Nice thick resin. Um, it makes the petals drop down pretty much straight away. Um, you know, rather than, you know how resin moves? I'm just trying to explain it here. To myself and to you. But you know how resin moves from the outside in? And a thinner resin will move faster. So your petals will look sort of long and elongated. Um, you know, like like this sort of thing, if your resin's really thin. Whereas if your resin's thick and it doesn't really move very much, your white paste is kind of just dropped straight down. So that's why it makes those little, little cute petals like that. All right, I'm so excited. All right, thank you so much for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again for the next video. Take care, guys. Bye for now.